Turning to our Veterans Voices series now, many find closure by visiting memorials dedicated to their fellow service members. And that's where Honor Flight comes in, which brings members of the greatest generation to the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. The chapter in Rochester is 10 years old, and it's still flying high. Six times a year at the Greater Rochester International Airport, you'll find crowds like these cheering for their heroes. These welcome home ceremonies are an enduring part of Honor Flight Rochester, one of the strongest hubs in the Honor Flight Network. I can't get over all this hoopla for us. Honor Flight Rochester began 10 years ago. Eight World War II veterans flew on Mission One. Today, 50 or more veterans make each trip. So far, nearly 3,000 aging veterans have been escorted to Washington to see the memorials built just for them. Honor Flight started just to get the World War II veterans down to D.C. to see their memorial, which didn't open until 2004. At that time, in 2004, the, the estimated numbers uh, nationwide was that we were losing 1,500 World War II veterans every day. The memorials were good, and we got to see the Women's Memorial. It was the first time the group ever went. I was very impressed at what the Honor Flight did for us, and like a lot of veterans say, they were glad it came and it was a long time coming. It was very memorable. It was very emotional for me and emotional for those who came. They call me a hero and I'm not a hero. I just was a soldier. Thanks to a huge volunteer base and generous donors, Honor Flight Rochester was the first hub to offer veterans an overnight stay in Washington. It remains the only hub east of the Mississippi to do so. As the number of World War II veterans declines, it's now offering trips to veterans of Korea, Vietnam, and the Cold War. We're going to continue flying all generations as long as our community continues to support us. For Rochester, the honor is in the mission, a way of saying thank you to those who've served. Honor Flight does depend on donations and sponsorships. If you'd like more information, go to rochesterfirst.com and check out this story. Just click on Veterans Voices.